Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Wee Bunch Cradle and today I have my two fairy girls. Uh, they, they were both reborn by two different artists. This one is a custom that I asked to be made and this one I bought used from a good friend in the community. So, now I wanted to change them today because as beautiful as this outfit is, I'd really like to change her. And um, these are the accessories that she came with. Aren't they so pretty? And she came with this one. And these are just absolutely beautiful. I think she hung on to this somehow. There's this beautiful thing. This so pretty. The accessories are beautiful. It's a headpiece. Wow, hey. So creative. So maybe I'll do this is Nina and this is Nevea. And um as much as I would love for them to be sisters, they they totally don't look like from the same the same pack. She is definitely an elf. Well they both are, but you can't really see. But she is she has wonderful hair. This is Nevea. <laughs> look at this bonnet. These are all homemade, by the way, by the artist. I can't remember who the artist is. But Nevea is so pretty. Now I'm wondering if I should close the curtains. This is a dress I bought for her from Walmart. It's one of those uh, My Life uh, dresses. It's a little big on her. And I made this headband. I made that. I think I would love for them to try and match. Her hair is supposed to be like curly. But I love, and she has more detail. She's really beautiful detail. She has it. And I made these, these little uh, footless sandals. I'll take them off. She has detail upon her leg too, which are wonderful. She has no diapers or anything. But I love her details. So this is Nina. Oh, she's so cute. I know why. She looks more fantasy and she looks more human. And this is Nevea. And she's just normal human looking. Just really tiny. So, take this beautiful off. Absolutely stunning clothes. I'll show you what she came with. Oh, sorry about that. You stopped recording and I didn't know when. But I think I was last... Um, I looked at the camera footage and I last said that she looks more fantasy and she looks more human. So, but I was mentioning that. I don't know if you got this on, but I got, I bought this dress from Walmart. It's one of those My Life and they were really big on her. So I had to put pins on her. So I'll just take those off. And now I can put on some dresses that fit, that properly fit her. I 
I have the fan on too, by the way. It's so hot. Um, there's a lot of smoke in the air too from the forest fires around us. So take this off. And they both have belly plates too, by the way. Oh, this sticking. Okay. Oh, there she is. To fix up their hair. <laughs> she has little ears too, but you can't really tell. She doesn't seem as, um, like floppy. She's more, well, she's got different insides. This girl is more floppy, like a reborn. She has reborn materials. She has, like, beam bank. Or maybe they are reborn materials, just different. Well, it's signed, Marita Winters. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so here are their belly plates. This one is for N Nina. This one is Nevaeus. I could tell by the um, the texture. This, this one I could tell. This one resembles a, a real reborn. This one is smoother and it's different. Different paint, maybe. Cute. <laughs> they, they look too realistic right now. But and there's also a bonnet like this, which is so pretty. And these are the other dresses that came. There's this white one. So cute and pretty. There is this big, long, beautiful dress. So pretty. It's so long, though. And then... There's this beautiful, this goes along with that headpiece that was made, homemade. This was added on, isn't that gorgeous? So that. It's just so long though. I think they're meant for slightly bigger dolls. There's this kind of bonnet. I guess it goes like this. Isn't that stunning? And there's this is a bottom tutu type dress. No, no, there's no shirt to go. But I don't, I'm not. Oh, this is like an apron type thing. Maybe it goes over top. I'm not sure how that looks. This doesn't. I thought it had a dress that this matched. But I can't find it. Hmm. Unless it just goes with the white one. Well, let's try on some different. I'd like to try on this one. It looks like this bonnet goes with that. So let's just try it on Nina. I'll move Nevea out of the way. Oh, I should show you. I also have this beautiful headpiece. And this beautiful headpiece. So pretty. But I think today I'd like to put some bonnets on their heads.
This one was not homemade, it's just a doll's dress. Because there's a thing in there that says made in China. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Sticking to a cloth. Aww, it fits her beautifully. So it's a white vintage long gown dress with lace over the... I don't know my area this is called. The, the end of the sleeves have lace the, and there's two rows of lace at the bottom and there's a lace around the neck area and the bodice area I guess I don't know what it's called Ooh, pretty okay what kind of let's try her with this vintage bonnet. It has the same sort of lace on here and it's a white. Oh my goodness, I am gonna scream right away. Oh, so pretty. So this bonnet is very unique. It's uh, extremely old fashioned and it's so like so poofy at the ends like the back the back of the bonnet fits her head like smug but the front of the bonnet is so Victoria like it's so I can't explain there's there's one okay there's that very out, outer layer of the bonnet has lace giant lace for her head and there's one two rows of lace as well surrounding it so it's a layered um lace at the end i wish i knew the names for all this stuff <laughs> look how beautiful she is she definitely looks like victoria era oh my goodness look she needs some color in there though i think that's why there's these beautiful accessories. Like this is an accessory, it's like a wand. And it's made out of pearl strings. And there's, like I think this is teal. There's teal uh, lace that looks like resembles straw. But it's just lace. And then there's a giant beautiful laced teal bow tie. Like, it looks like a bouquet of straw, but it's, it's lace. And at the very top, there's this heirloom of pearled, like, a pearled, <laughs> I can't even describe it. It's just so pretty. It looks like a wand, a wand, a beautiful wand. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> she looks so pretty. I wish I had stuff her feet. The only thing I have is those things that I made. These, but for some reason, because um, I made, I received a knitted headband and it looked like a crown. And what I did was I cut it because I had two identical laced headband crowns, or not laced, sorry, knitted. And I cut them up and I made little, um, like a hole there so that well I just pulled it and it made this hole for a little footless sandal and there's a crystal gem right in the center look at the tip of the crown you know how crowns are pointy triangles
but these are light pink. But I guess they can look nice. I wonder if I could change this and put it on her like instead of on her ankle to put the triangle tip at her toes. I wonder if that's possible. Hmm, stuck. There. How about like this? So now it looks like a a sandal over her foot. The top of her foot is covered now with that triangle and that silver gem, crystal of silver gem. Oh, I'm sorry, you can you even see? At first I had the triangles pointing up like a footless sandal, how they look. But now I'm pointing the triangle down towards her toes. Oh, she's beautiful. She kind of blends in. I have this knitted white. I'm sorry, I'm, my camera keeps shutting itself off. But I have this knitted nest. And it's cream white and kind of blends in. So maybe if I take that away. Oh, she's cute. Oh, she's pretty. <laughs> so this is Nina, looking extremely vintage, from the seventeen, late seventeen hundreds. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I wonder if I could, um, like, put this. Give her some color. I have this crowned crown of flowers. It has lace at the bottom. But I wonder if I could just use this as a thing around her neck. <laughs> just to give her some color. Just because I'm being different. Or maybe it is supposed to go around like that. I don't know. I thought it was around for her head, but it's this beautiful flowered um, headpiece, but maybe it is supposed to go around the neck. Isn't that pretty? She's so pretty. Nina should take a picture. Beautifulness. Or maybe this is supposed to go around the neck as well. Maybe it's not for the for the head. Maybe it's for the neck. I don't know. I thought it was a head piece, but or it could be both. I know this for sure is a head piece. Beautiful. So there's Nina and I think I'll go for now. I'll do Nevea at another time because um, I should shut these curtains and see what it looks like without the sunshine. Right. So that's what she looks like when I close the curtains. So pretty though. Oh, <laughs> she looks so cute. Wow. So pretty. She looks like a bride. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go for now. Um, I'll do Nevea another time. Here's Nevea one last time. She's not dressed though, but she's still a really pretty girl. So anyways, guys, hope that you're having a great day. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye guys, love you, bye.